Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa. I love being a vet and doing everything that I can to help animals, people, and our environment. At my veterinary clinic, Holistic Vets, we use emergency medicine, surgery, innovation, and common sense to do everything that we can to regain and sustain long-term optimal health for our patients and their humans. One of the fabulous tools that we use is our hyperbaric oxygen chamber. In this hyperbaric oxygen chamber that looks a bit like a submarine, our animals go in there and it gets pressurized. It's to the pressure that's equivalent of being under 10 meters of water. For those of you that are scuba divers, you'll know how that feels. Most animals tolerate that beautifully. At this pressure, we give them oxygen to breathe. And that oxygen is not only available as it normally is transported by red blood cells, but the oxygen actually diffuses into the tissues of the body and it's 15 times more available to cells than it is ordinarily. Now this oxygen is fantastic to help to reduce inflammation, promote healing, kill bugs, and just bring about a whole lot more vitality and uh, we use it for all sorts of things. It's certainly registered and recognized for things like skin grafts and non-healing wounds, but common sense says that every cell needs oxygen to function optimally. So we use it for inflammatory conditions like pancreatitis, post-surgery to help with healing, pre-surgery for our geriatrics that are compromised, especially if they have something like underlying heart disease. We even use it for the wildlife that we rehabilitate. For example, a few years ago, we had this magnificent albatross owl come through. Al the albatross stood about waist height. He had this massive head and this massive big beak. He was found offshore by a ship and brought into our harbor. He had a very droopy wing. We examined it, did radiographs to ensure that there were no fractures, and found that it was very likely just bruising and a nerve injury. Al went off to our volunteers and uh, they did their best to look after him and feed him some food after we placed the wing bandage, but Al wasn't doing so well and his wing wasn't healing. So we placed him into our hyperbaric oxygen chamber, which flooded his body with a high concentration of oxygen. And he went back to his volunteer looker after her, who um, then reported that he devoured a whole bowl of fish and Al went on to make a fantastic recovery. Not only this, but he became famous and well known across New Zealand, getting onto national news and the front page of our Bay of Plenty Times. He was a delightful bird to work with. Thank you for listening to this video. I'm so glad you could join me. I look forward to sharing more information with you. Please click like and subscribe. 